This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It is Manchester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, not many players in their careers get chances to play in cup finals. These 22 have got a perfect opportunity to put their name on the map. I'm looking forward to this final. It should be an absolute cracker, Derek. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the focal point on attack is Gabriel Jesus. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins this game in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays with Davinson Sanchez in the middle of the defence. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here. And Manchester City get the ball rolling. De Bruyne Mares made it a bit too easy for his opponent over the touchline for a throw in De Bruyne powerful enough but not precise enough no not accurate enough at all he had other options on as well Understandably, a lot of interest in Harry Kane and how he might perform in this game. How do you see that, Lee? Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Given away by Tottenham. Getting in there to take it away. Joao Cancelo and now Kevin De Bruyne given away by City loves to attack from the wide areas aimed towards Lucas Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position it was a fine looking attack but now they've given the ball away Foden oh good strike well oh, good work to deny the opportunity and the corner has been given put in by De Bruyne punched away oh a tremendous block Gundogan and it's Gabriel Jesus good defending to prevent the chance now counter attacking possibilities here all hands on deck and they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move De Bruyne Rodri it's with Gundogan Look at those City possession stats, Derek, over the last... Takes on the shot! Well, over the top it goes. He didn't miss by an awful lot. Good-looking sequence. Well, they have the ball once more. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. And 
Firing it into the area. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. But it can't get through. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Reguilon. Beautifully timed. Ruben Diaz. And they're trying to get right into his face. Gundogan. Now Zinchenko. Foden. He's got to have a go here. Well, not quite the result he was hoping for with that shot. Close though. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. De Bruyne, Gabriel Jesus, tremendous block. And everyone in the centre looking on as it sailed over them. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Alderweireld. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Pabier. Might be able to produce from this position. Just cutting off the supply. Gabriel Jesus and now Kevin De Bruyne running with the ball confidently oh he's gone for goal wonderful block well, they might be onto something Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. Well, we see it again here, and the pace and accuracy of this passing is a dream. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. Good physical play. Harry Kane. Half an hour remaining then. Gundogan. And it's Gabriel Jesus. That's effort. Wayward, to say the least, Lee. Well, it's all about his body shape. Look what he's doing. Aurier. Perfectly positioned to take it away. So a throw in here. Aurier. And Hoybier with it. Son. Hoybier. Reguilon. Son. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. So, 20 minutes to go. Making progress. De Bruyne. Gundogan. 
Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. He made it look simple, really. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Lucas. Now Harry Kane. Lo Celso. Lo Celso. And dispossessed. Foden. Aguero. Couldn't keep it. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Seems to me that his foot's the problem because he's got trodden in that last challenge. Cheers, Jeff. And the danger is averted. Gundogan. Strong play here. Aguero. It's with Joao Cancelo. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. And a long way out here. Well, the keeper is happy. The ball was there. Can they hit on the break? Can they keep it going? There's plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Really good attacking play. Well, it might still work out for them. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Well, it's these moments, Derek, when you get your hands on the silverware, and that little medal that goes round your neck might seem small now, but you look back at that, show your grandkids absolutely superb memories these players will have of this game. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Yeah, it's been a long old road to get to this point. They're going to celebrate now and certainly celebrate long into the night, I think. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. And this is really special, getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup. That's what I say. Well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet, Lee. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo, don't you, Derek? <laughs> I think I've heard it before, Lee. <laughs> Straight at the front. <laughs>